Hello guys, as you can see on my screen, you have two options, either to apply directly to this Australian university or to apply through an agent. So if you click on the agent tab, it takes you here to this website where you can click on um, or type rather the name of your country or city and it gives you the list of different agents. But I guess the majority of you want to apply directly to avoid the extra cost of using an agent. So fortunately, the option is also here. You click on this, it takes you directly to this page. And here, you can just register, as simple as that. So welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're joining us for the first time, thanks for joining. Where have you been? <laughs> there are several materials already on this channel on how to find fully funded scholarships from around the world. So make sure you subscribe because I'm sure that you like the materials on this channel. And if you're returning, of course, thanks for coming back. And I hope you get a scholarship sooner than later. So let's go straight into this video, this scholarship video. So this is the UNSW University in Sydney, Australia. I think it's the University of, let me get the name correctly, so I do not mislead you, is the the University of New South Wales. That's the name of the university. University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. And as you can see, you can either apply directly or through an agent. Another good bit before we go into the scholarship gist. English language requirements. As some of you might know, a number of universities, international universities, or universities um, inviting international students would require you to submit English language tests. And those tests sometimes are quite expensive. You can see some of them here. They take time to prepare for quite expensive, quite tricky. But the good news is that you can also get waivers at this university. So English waivers. Unfortunately, there are a number of countries um, who are exempted from presenting the English language test. And here I can see my country, Nigeria, already. Let's make it bolder. I can see Nigeria here already. I think Ghana is also on the list. And in case your country is not on this list, there are also other ways of getting English language waivers. So just go to the website of this, of this university on the search page or the search bar type English language requirements and you go to this page and you see the different ways of getting waivers. So just look at it and I hope you get a waiver. And it will save you the stress of writing all of these English language tests and of course save you some money as well. So I haven't clarified those issues on um, first that you can apply directly without using an agent. And secondly, the English language waivers that are also available at this university. So we'll go straight to the scholarship itself. So we're looking at the HDR scholarships. HDR, yeah, I think it means higher degree by research, higher degree by research. So now we're talking about master's by research or PhD. So when you get to this page, you just click on, um, by the way, you can go through Google to search this page. So HDR scholarships. And when you get here, Make sure you click on international students and all funding. And then we get all the funding opportunities open to international students and their deadline. As you can see on this page, you have a deadline of September and funding of 35,000 Australian dollars per annum. So this is the ROTP scholarship for international students. There is yet another one, the University International Postgraduate Award, also the same amount amount of money. And then there are other kinds of scholarships as well for different demographics, different people. But I think the first two scholarships here, the ROTP and the UIPA um, apply to international students from all over the world. So wherever you're coming from, either or even both of them would, um, would catch your interest. So let's get a bit of more information about them. So you can see for international students, for all faculties at the university, covering living allowance and tuition fees, three and a half for a PhD or two years for a master's degree. That's a master's by research. 
Um, I think you should make take note of that. There's a difference between your taught masters and the masters by research. This scholarship is a research scholarship. So you're coming to do research and you'll be assessed majorly on your research than just the classes you take and the tests you do. So majorly on the papers or the dissertation you're able to write and the quality of it. So let's get more info. How do you apply? I think the information on this website is quite detailed and takes you step by step. But just to show you where to get general information, and I think the application procedure for this RTP is quite similar to this um, UIPA. We can always check to verify. So let's get more about this ROTP scholarship for international students. So here we've, let's see. We came from here just to make sure we're on the same page. So we came from here and I clicked on this apply here um, tab or the link here. And it took me here. And here you get the step-by-step -step on how to apply. Um, generally, you need, for master's, you need a bachelor's degree. For PhD, usually, you need a master's degree. And we talked about the English language requirements already. So you can follow these links to just do your own background research to make sure you, you have the, the basic eligibility requirements for the scholarship. Or well, just run through them already. So here usually you should have like a bachelor's degree for a master's or a master's usually for a PhD. We've talked about the English language test already. So now they require you to find a supervisor. They require you to find a supervisor at this university. And for certain departments, you have to write what they call an expression of interest form for these departments. But there are other departments, by the way, apart from these three. But for these ones, you have to write what they call the expression of interest form of course, if this applies to you, you can always go to the departments yourself and dig a little bit more of what this forms entails. But I'll just go to the general requirement for those from other departments. So you're required to find a supervisor, even a project. So there are some projects at the university already ongoing where um, international students or master's PhD students are required. So you can apply through these projects. So from the project, you contact the the key investigator or the principal investigator that means the professor in charge of the project tell the professor the professor about your background your academic qualifications your work experience your research experience and tell them that you want to work with them on that project so i've clicked on the tab of projects already and supervisors so now we're on projects research projects this is it here you can always go down and see the different projects and see if any of them align with your interest and um, if you have your own project if you have like your own um idea of a project and you're looking for a supervisor to work with if there is no project here that catches your interest i believe for a number of universities you're allowed to also propose your own project so you can go to the supervisor tab here and type your area of interest so probably you're into gender let's see gender and let's go and see the professors working on gender. So if you're interested in gender, you might want to speak to one of these professors. And of course, check their area of interest. Check what they're doing, if it aligns with your own area as well. So this is um, sociology of health. If it aligns with your area of interest, you check their profile, send them a cold email. Simply introduce yourself, your academic background, your research background, your intention to study at this university, looking for a supervisor your area of interest that this is the topic that you intend to study you think this professor is already working on that area and you wish for their supervision for their tutelage if that makes sense so there are lots of info here already on the website on how to do it so just sit down you know relax follow the instructions and i think generally you will be fine so there are lots of links here and for the sake of time we can't go through all of them so we're returning to this page, that's the page where we got the scholarship. And then let's see, remember we started with the ROTP. So let's check the UIPA, if it's any different. The deadline is also quite similar. The amount is also similar. The duration, quite similar as well. Let's see if it takes us to a different place or to the same place. So I think we're back to the same place. So you see, for both the ROTPI, I for international, by the way, and then for the 
U, let's get the acronym properly, the UIPA, the application procedure is similar. And the deadline is the 22nd of September. So it's quite far away. This video will come to you in, um, in July, early July. So um, you have time to contact supervisors. You have time to clarify, to ask questions, to strategize on how to get in. So there's, you have the advantage of time um, to a large extent. So start working now. Do not relax because you do not want to be caught on our way. You do not want to wait till September before you start applying. So start getting to work. Start putting your documents together. And as usual, wish you good luck. And I'll see you at the top sooner than later. If you've not subscribed already, this is a good time to do so because many more materials are coming your way. If you go to the video tab here on this channel, there are already several materials, ongoing scholarships, for instance, that are still accepting applications, by the way. So you want to check them out and um, get to work. It is a self-help channel. So we'll try as much as possible to equip you with enough knowledge so you can go out on your own, add your own creativity, your own inspiration, your own vitality to get the scholarship. And do not forget to share your success story with us. In our community tab, we usually share success stories of those who recently won scholarships. And I also share some personal news as well. So please also contact me. For those looking for my email address, it's right here. Just go to the About section. And then my email address is here. Just click on this tab and you find my email address. You can also find me on Twitter and on Instagram. And that's it, guys, for today. I hope you're enriched by this video. Remember, you can apply directly. You have English test waivers and this juicy offer of 35000 Australian dollars, either for a PhD or for a master's by research. Bye-bye for now, and I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Cheers.